Huh? Yeah, today on the show, we take a sneak peek at the latest build of Windows 95, codenamed Chicago. Darren's got a dark tip for getting free long distance on your next BBS dial-up, and I've got your game news and a review of the latest SNES title. All that and a bag of chips on this Hack 5 episode 507 for April 1st, 1995. episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoDaddy, Netflix, Squarespace, and viewers like you. All right. I see it. All right. Do you want to do it? No, you go ahead. All right. Hello, and welcome to Hack 5, uh, episode 507. I'm your host, Darren. And Matt. Awesome. Oh, and Shannon's over there on the SNES. Hi. Hey. Um, we've got a cool show for you guys today uh so let's just get started like um yeah yeah she's doing some game review stuff news um we're gonna continue the uh the phone freaking segment that we did last week uh put the beige box to use we're gonna learn some stuff about some sit tones <laughs> which is like saying atm machine <laughs> but uh you know we're gonna learn how to get some free long distance next time you dial up your board and uh and then we're going to follow that along with some uh, some Harris Draken stuff. Yeah, I, I'm next week. I'm going to be working on the rest of the case mod. Yeah, the, yeah the case okay. Is... This whole bar at the bottom, uh -huh. like, is everything that's running. Okay. Okay. And um, this is like the biggest thing. Like, if you've been following some of the earlier beta builds, this is like the biggest thing that's been changing. Is this menu now? They actually call it Start now. They put the word Start here, and they say, click. "I'm smart enough to figure that out." Well, right. I know, but they well. Um, before they were saying like click here to begin and I was like to begin what man like what are we gonna begin my computer's already started I know right so we're already um we're already started but we click start Change the, the deck no no check it out you get deck options man you get like I can I can go with the beach dude that's awesome yeah so but here's the thing that keeps screwing me up right is this little X button over here and you're like all right what, what it was what well, am I can doing I with still this? double click over here? Yeah, you can double click on this and it oh, closes cool. just like you're used to. Cool. But then you can also do that to Single close. Single click? It. Yeah, like just just go like that and then it minimizes and I don't know. Okay, man. so like, throw me for loop. So addition to the minimize and maximize buttons. Yeah. We got a close button now. Yeah. The other big feature is it's got um, it's got networking built in, dude. If if you're like me and, and you have a love hate relationship with uh, Trump at Winsock, you are going to love the fact that it's got IPX, SPX so, you know, TCP. Novell, TCP is big, man. So, and then NetBuoy, of course, uh, right? So, um, yeah. Win file, man. There it is, dude. Yes. So you can see, like, all of the, all the uh, folders. See, just just like to. it's used. Yeah, you can see, set it up. I got the up. little thing up you here. You got your tree, and you can set it up. You can split, you know, however you want, right? Um, the the file names though don't look as good in the file manager right. as they do in Explorer because long file name support. It's not eight dot three anymore. Yeah, that's it's long file name. It's gonna be weird. Do I need to do anything to like my existing files? Yes. Speaking of which, let's find out about some games. Uh, Shannon, l uh, tell us uh, what's going on with the land party. All right, guys, get ready. We are playing Doom 2 Skull Tag. We're going to be playing at doom.hack5.org on Saturday, April 25th at 3 p.m. Eastern. And don't forget to sign up and vote for your favorite games and check out screenshots from old games and find out what's going on next month over at hack5land.squarespace.com. And let me thank our wonderful sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the bomb. It's a publishing system for Anybody looking to build a fan page or a portfolio or maybe putting your resume online? Anything like that. And it powers large businesses to small reviewers. And it gives anybody the opportunity to build pages that are just as powerful and flexible as those as the big dogs. So guys, forget about Gopher. Go over to Squarespace.com. And don't forget to use code HACK5 when you're checking out so you can get 10% off the life of your contract. Uh, talk to you guys uh, about special spe information tones or SIT tones if you want to say them like that. Um, 
and how we can use them to get like free long distance when we call like bulletin boards like cross state and stuff. Um, I'm not really sure if this will work in Trilata. We, we've got uh, our DTMF phone here and, and it's important because we've got the, uh, the numbers here on the handset. And I've actually changed out the, uh, the clips from what I was using last week. I, I've, um, I went with these nice ones that I picked up at Radio Shack. Basically, what we're going to do is exploit a little tone that happens when... So, like, have you ever, like, called a wrong number and you get this little thing and it goes... The number you have called is not in service. Blah, 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 blah. Well, the thing is, like, that tone, it, like, tells, like, I don't know if it's, like, ESS5 or, like, DMS100. Um, it's going to, like, tell the switch that the line you called, like, isn't there. Right, that's what those tones are. Because like, if you called somebody in like I don't know, like e Egypt or something, right? Like they don't actually like understand the words and stuff of like Egyptian. So what they do is those tones like international, man. It's like in the blue book, dude. So uh, they're like they're they're um, the first two tones like they're different depending on what the error is, and then the last one's like the same, I guess, for like error correction or something. But um, so if you call long distance, man. You don't want to get charged for like a long distance phone call. If you like called the wrong number, that would be total BS, right? So we're going to use that to our advantage, right? So say like you want to call the Black Ice BBS up in New York and like, you know, especially if you're like an MOD, basically tell the phone company that that call is like not in service or whatever, but you can still stay on for like an hour or whatever, you know, uh, getting your time on on that board and no problem like it's not going to show up in your bill I suggest giving this a test first do like a two-person like doom match first and like call your boy and be like dude um, Don't type ATA until it you know until I let you know or whatever this works great if you've got two lines but um, but yeah just uh, use your phone and you know play it back uh, I, I use my uh, sound blaster 16 um, you could do the same thing with an A32, and if you don't, just you know, uh, call a line that's got a disconnected phone uh, number, and then record those onto like your micro cassette recorder uh, or like a Hallmark card that has like one of those little chips. So anyway, that's my freaking tip this week. Next week we're going to be talking about some hair straightening equipment, like direct access test units, and uh, maybe a little bit about time division multiplexing. So anyway. Uh, all right, guys. So uh, you know, I'm here. We're gonna do this awesome trivia question, uh, and I, I need my prop here. There we go. This is the answer, by the way. All right. So, what console was tested by a U.S. state lottery as a means for ticket purchase? And that was correctly answered by my buddy Visiv, who emailed me on AOL, and he answered the Minnesota state lottery used this with the NES expansion port Hickamadu. I forget where it goes. I don't remember. Anyway, this with modem. Make sure you guys answer this week's trivia question. Prior to Miss Success, the Miller Brothers computer game company developed what title that holds the claim as the first computer game distributed on CD-ROM. Check it out at hack5.org slash trivia and get your answer on for a chance to win some awesome prizes. We want to thank Netflix for sponsoring this episode of Hack 5. With Netflix, it's incredibly easy to get over 90,000 titles, DVD, lots of Blu-ray, with free shipping both to and from your home. They have over 40 shipping centers, so like Almost all transactions happen within, within one business day. Uh, and Netflix plans start like $4.99. So as a new member and a viewer of our fine program, you can get a no-risk two-week free trial membership by heading over to www.netflix.com slash hack5. And dude, don't forget the www. So coming up, Shannon has the SNES review. I'm an old schooler, baller. Hey guys, I'm back this week with some more reviews and some more news for you. First off, a couple of rumors. Rumor has it that the PlayStation by Sony, which is a CD-ROM based console, it recently released in Japan in December and it might be releasing in North America in September, which I'm looking forward to. Also, Chrono Trigger just released in Japan this month 
and it might be releasing in the U.S. in about six months. Oh, God, I really don't want to wait for that one. All right, the Sega 32X. We all know about that one. Not the best games. The developers are moving on to the Sega Saturn, which is releasing in about two months. So the 32X, they're lowering the price on that one. Go ahead and pick it up, you Sega fanboys. The Nintendo Ultra 64, that's the last one on my list. It's a cartridge-based one that we saw a picture of, but we didn't see the controller. All right, rumor has it that this controller, instead of, you know, your regular pad like this, it has an analog joystick. Like, Atari? I don't know, brings me back to my Atari youth days. Mmm, yummy. All right, guys, on to my review. The Lion King. It's by Virgin Interactive Entertainment. It's this brand new game for the SNES along with a couple of other consoles. I bought the one for the SNES because, well, I have it. I'm going to go ahead and get into the game for you. Okay, so at the beginning, you're just a young Simba. You go through basically the movie style of the game. Um, eventually you turn into an adult and you have to fight Scar, just like the movie. The characters and the art in the background is all based off of the movie. Disney artists actually created this, this art. It's beautiful. Uh, the music, which you can hear if I cut it up, is also based off of the orchestra and the soundtrack from the Lion King Disney movie. Uh, up in the top, you can see a couple of health bars. The one in the left side is your roar bar, which can scare enemies. And the one on the right side is your health bar, which you can gain more health by, well, picking up bugs, of all things. Down in the bottom, you can see that I have zero lives. I know, that's horrible. Oh. Well, I'm going to restart it so I can show you a cheat mode. So you can get up to eight lives, and you get to restart as many times as you want in the same level. Not only that, but you can choose which level you get to start on. You go to Options, press B-A-R-R-Y, and you immediately run into this random menu in the middle of nowhere. You can change your level, and you can change your invincibility. So I can turn this on. So, well, I still die, but I always end up going back to the same level that I was on. So I can keep on playing as long as I want. It's sweet. Let's go ahead and play a game. All right. Also, I just want to add really quick, the difficulty is a little hard on this game, even for your experienced gamers like, well, me. <laughs> so don't get too frustrated with this game. It's made for, you know, your teens and your, your uh, children, but young adults have a little bit of trouble with this too. Anyway, I'm going to play the game. You guys have fun wrapping up the show. <laughs> cool beans, yo. This is the end of our awesome <laughs> episode of Pack 5. Uh, Rad. Yeah. So uh, hit us up on the BBS at bbs.hack5.org where you can find our door games and our message boards and all sorts of stuff. We'd love to hear from you guys. Also, don't forget <laughs> to check out the <laughs> guest book at hack5.org slash guest book. Yeah. And, um, oh, and Shannon, do you want to thank one of those awesome people that like keep us on the air and stuff? Obligatory insert sponsor here before we wrap. Yes. Yes. I do. A sponsor. GoDaddy. Do you know about GoDaddy, Brittany? No. <laughs> no. Brittany doesn't know about GoDaddy. Well, if Hi. you want to make an impact online, GoDaddy.com has what you need. .com names as low as $1.99 plus world-class hosting and fast and easy website builders. Uh, you can use coupon codes HACK1234 or 5 at checkout for your specific coupon order. Anyway, some restrictions apply. To see the website for details and get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. Word. Uh, I just want to remind you guys that Techzilla has an amazing episode uh, this week that you just don't want to miss. Uh, they are checking out the latest in HD set-top boxes. Veronica and Patrick are on the case. Also, Jeff Kanata from TRS, you may have heard of him, down back from GDC 2009. Uh, He's got some amazing stuff that you guys don't want to miss. So check it out at techzilla.com every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern. The Albrecht. Yeah. And, um, and Brittany. What? And Brittany. And Brittany. Uh, is for sale now at hack5.org. <laughs> She's my Stickers. little sister. She's worth a lot. Yeah, you get a hack pack four. She comes included. <laughs> FedEx overnight. Polliers. 
uh, hack pack four at, at We stick a bottle of water and some crackers in the box so that she I'm actually survives. Post some holes. <laughs> yeah. That's all yeah. she eats anyway. She eats like crackers. There you go. Put the pineapple candies in there. Yeah, so, anyway, Sweet. this episode with the mom, I'm, I'm happy. We just fresh it, yo, and I'm just ready to wrap this stuff. So, let's dip and uh, remind you guys to trust your techno lust. Yotch! How do you crisscross that? Trust, trust your, your techno lust. Lust your techno sluts. Make you jump, jump. Hey, we've done three episodes. It's champagne time. What's up, D? What's up? Another episode of Hack 5. Yeah, buddy. That's what it's about. Yep. Feeling good. Well, that's because you're drinking blood. My dad's. Nice. <laughs> Wait, are we 13? <laughs> I don't know. Because you got a lot of facial hair for being 13. Oh.